See, you still have hair. That's the difference. And I don't. No, you had hair. You just. No, I, hair. I had hair, yes. <laughs> you look like a teenager. There. Yeah, all right. People constantly come up and they wonder how the Reardon program could be there for 30 years. It started with this gentleman, Professor William Ochi. As I recall, what I said to you was we need some money so we can start a program. At I UCLA. forgot that. <laughs> the program started with the big three. There was Richard Reardon, Professor William Ochi, and UCLA Anderson. Anderson doesn't just say that they believe in diversity and encouraging diversity, they actually put their money where their mouth is, they actually do something about it. Dean Olian has been outstanding in her personal support for the Reardon programs and her financial support. All three of those entities have stayed consistently committed for over 30 years. You had in mind things that you wanted to see us do and I had in mind things that I felt we knew how to do and things that we probably weren't going to be able to do very well in the university. And what emerged from that was this three-part design of the Reardon Scholars, the Reardon Fellows, and mentoring service. The goal of the program is to create a pipeline to business and leadership opportunities for students who are underrepresented. And I have to admit, it's Bill Ochi who started me thinking this way. Something You mentor, you have bright students or graduate students mentoring inner city kids. It gives them confidence and also gives them goals for the future. They can go into business, but also use part of their time to help inner city kids. You know, these programs really do alter lives in a way that give students who aren't born with all of the advantages a window into a very privileged world and a world that they can have access to. That's the vision that inspired Dick Reardon almost 30 years ago when he set these programs up with Bill Ochi and Linda Baldwin. You know, I think my first year in the program, I was still really shy. I didn't know anything about college or business, and I had no clue what I was doing in that seat. But my second and third year, I sort of gained a lot of confidence. And now I'm a senior, holding an email that says you've been accepted to Harvard. And I think once you think about it, you realize how amazing the work that you do is because it dramatically changes lives. The Reardon Scholars Program planted a seed for me. To me, the Reardon programs are family, their growth, they're a place where you can find success. I definitely feel like the Reardon program is a family, so you may not see them all the time, but once you're back together, it's like you never left. It's just a sense of pride when I sit there and, and see what the programs have evolved into. Throughout my professional career, throughout my educational life, um, I, I think that this was one of the building blocks that helped me to succeed. I don't know that I would have gotten into business school had it not been for you know the written program and their guidance and them helping me to understand what I needed to do in order to prepare myself. I didn't have any direction. I didn't know. I knew I wanted to go to business school or I felt that I wanted to go to business school. I didn't know why. And Linda really made me, she forced me to do some self-examination. Linda Baldwin just sparkled. She had the same essential property that you have and that I hope I have, which is that she always speaks her mind. Whether you're gonna agree with her or not, she's gonna say it if she thinks it. Alex Lawrence is, is my favorite. <laughs> he played a, a real important part in, in developing Roxanne's talents. Uh, she has become the greatest fundraiser in the history of the program. Dr. Ochi, is kind of the wise, silent guru. He's very um, attentive and he's always listening. And when he speaks, you want to be quiet and you want to listen because you know he's going to say something really wise. Key people like Linda and like Nikki and like Roxanne, like Alex Lawrence, have put it all together and made it go in a wonderful way. But it was your good name, that was the essential equity that made the Reardon programs have value. I can't wait to see what the next 30 years bring. The possibilities are almost endless.
I love Reardon because they expose me to people who come from hard backgrounds like myself. And it just lets me know like, if they made it, I can make it too. My life has changed tremendously through the Reardon program. Um, I've networked with a lot of people. Um, I've learned so much about being a businesswoman. Just to have these women uh, be powerful and made it out of their circumstances and situations has helped me because now I can follow their footsteps and go after my dreams. And they just introduced me to so many people. We, we talked to people who start nonprofits, people who do real estate, just different people in power, different people who have careers that make them happy. They just teach us their secrets about how they made it to be successful. I just want to help people because we live in a world where so many people are broken. Mainly, I want to encourage and inspire people through words. They say my dreams are illegal in the ghetto. They say culture and poetry don't exist in my head, that I am dumb, poor, and fed. I want to be a brain surgeon, but instead you criticize me because I got color in my skin. And if that's true, what would you say if I told you my dreams were hater proof? See, I know you're mad, cause I speak the truth. I can't be beat and I make grown men shiver when I speak. And I'm way too smart to be deceived. You can dress your lives up in suit ties, but they will not be received. And my dreams, they are bigger than anything you can think. They are bigger than the lies you tell about my skin. They are bigger than the stereotypical box you try to place me in. You can put my people in chains, but you can never take our knowledge away. You can never shackle and chain my brain. They say my dreams are illegal in a ghetto. I want to be a brain surgeon, but you criticize me because I'm black. But I will prove you wrong with every word said, and that's a fact. That's it. <laughs>